No, I'll, I'll just I'll go right to questions. I, I'm sorry to keep you guys waiting. Uh, for Logan uh, to start, just looking up after the game, seeing uh, your name up there, Maryland all the time, career points leader. Um, what was that? What was that moment like for you? Just emotional. Yeah, you know, a place like Maryland, you know, it's awesome. You know, the rich tradition. You know, you come here and it's really truly a brotherhood. You know, you get to meet like a, a bunch of people. You know, mm-hmm. carry relationships for the rest of your life. You know, like guys like Jared. You know, like meeting Matt Rambo. You know, Dylan Maltz, Curtis Corley, like a bunch of those guys. You know, coming back and seeing them and just like really talking and hitting it off. And it's just, it's really cool and it's really neat. And it's awesome to be a part of for sure. Want to go Patrick next? John, I, I know you know when we talked this week. You gave me the sense that there was a little bit of sloppiness last week, and maybe you guys weren't as sharp. I mean, how did this week kind of evolve, and did you feel like this was the sort of response you were looking for after maybe a performance that wasn't up to your standard, even if the score looked like it was up to your standard? Yeah, I, I think, and and it was good just talking to our guys. Like they didn't feel like they played the cleanest game. Uh, and we talk about it all the time. When you go on the road, it, it's just a different vibe. It just is. Um, and it's different. You, it's, there's not that sense of comfort, so you kind of have to get focused. Um, and it's not like the guys aren't trying. I know the kids ca- care. Uh, just some stuff like just some, like we always kind of jokingly say, like weird stuff happens on the road. It just does. Like, you know, we, um, like last week, Logan had like, Logan uh, McNaney had like three passes that just kind of went off the mark on clears and that never happens. Like he's got a really good stick. Um, You know, we um, took some penalties that we normally don't take, um, things of that nature. So I think especially on the defensive end, I think there was definitely a sense of wanting to come out and play better. Um, I think offensively, the guys have been, you know, pretty consistent with just trying to share the ball and move it. I think we had 13 assists on 17 goals today, um, which speaks to, you know, what these guys do, how unselfish they are, um, but also what we wanted to do. Um, you watch the last couple weeks um, and you've seen uh, Rutgers all year, like they are a really, really good team. Um, against Ohio State and against Hopkins, like they won a lot of one-on-one matchups. Um, And we just felt like for us, we needed to make sure that we worked a little bit, you know, got them in, got them out, um, changed the field, uh, spread them out a little bit more um, and dodged, but also like knew it wouldn't be easy. Um, So uh, we wanted more movement than what we had seen uh, because I feel like they are very experienced there. Most of their guys are are fourth, fifth uh, year type guys. So, um, and their goal is terrific. So uh, I think the fact that the guys kind of bought into that, which they've been doing all year, it's kind of the way they're wired. It's just fun to see. And I think all of them know if they give up the ball, there's a good chance it could come back to them. And th- that trust goes a long way. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. But my mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us. The big dogs from the small firm. Every single lawyer at the Jack Litch Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. In the Jack Litch Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made, other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get get the the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. Logan, did you feel like you guys were about as sharp as you've been collectively as a team today? I mean, yeah, the first quarter was good. You know, we had like some walls here and there that, you know, we got to work on kind of like just moving the ball, you know, we died sometimes, but you know, that's some, it's a work in progress and that we're moving, working, working towards. Yeah, uh, coach, when you have a, you know, I know you spoke last week at, the, at your presser about, uh, it's going to be sad for you to see Logan leave because he's been a part of you for over a 30 year career here. But uh, when you have a guy like Logan and he's so humble and so unselfish, how does that rub off of the rest of the team? Because uh, I think this year it really has. Uh, I mean, just again, um, you know, like we, he never brings up like how many points. He doesn't play any different whether he scores or he doesn't score. Mm-hmm. He just loves playing. Um, and you know, he can play off the ball, he can play with the ball, um, you know, he'll set good picks. And because he does all those little things really well and takes pride in it, mm-hmm. that, I mean, the other guys are gonna emulate, you know, your leaders, they're gonna emulate your best players and, and kind of wonder why, right? And 
again, I joked with, um, I think on one of those uh, pressers, whether it was for TV or you guys, it was early in season and it's Wednesday night and it's, you know, I think in February, or it's early February and I'm walking out of the stadium, I look up and there's somebody doing wall ball and it's, I don't know, like 6.30 at night and I, I couldn't see because I'm old. Um, <laughs> and I walked in the locker room, I go, who's doing wall ball up there? And they're like, oh, it's Logan. And I was like, they're like, it's wall ball Wednesday. Mm -hmm. and when a guy who's that good is still working on his fundamentals and it's early in the season, like mm -hmm. the young guys see that, right? And that's what you want him to see is, like he doesn't take anything for granted. He's got a standard that he sets for himself, um, but it's never about himself. Um, and to have that ability to be pushing yourself yet being in a team concept and always being mm -hmm. selfless, it's not easy to find. And you're right, like it's gonna be a sad day. And uh, I joke with him sometimes, I'm like, what am I gonna do without you? Mm -hmm. um, but I want him to know even now before, like how much he's meant to us, how much he means to me, and how much I enjoy just being around him, whether it's, you know, lacrosse or just when we travel or in the locker room. He's just an awesome, awesome guy. And, you know, you're thankful for guys like that in your locker room. Let's do Tony and then Kevin. Coach, um, Ajax holds Ross Scott pretty much scoreless. I mean, he scores, man, he scores on a man down goal in transition, but on ball, Ajax just, just totally shuts him down. Talk about his development from playing LSM last year. Now he's at close. Mm -hmm. He's taken on, takes on Dorovic earlier. He's, mm -hmm. He and Make are 1A and 1A and a half. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I think, you know, last year, Ajax, if you had told me Ajax would have played so much last year, um, I wouldn't have said no, but I, I would have been surprised because he was a freshman from Oregon and kind of felt like we saw the potential, but the, to make the transition, and, and play in the Big Ten so quickly, um, it would have been hard for anybody, let alone, you know, maybe a guy that, you know, you, you grow up around here and like the level of college coaching that you get and the number of great players that are on the sidelines at some of these schools, it's a huge advantage. Um, so for, we, we knew, we liked his athleticism, we knew he was smart, but we just didn't know how long it would take. So to get quality minutes last year is kind of our second poll. He earned a lot of trust and he put in a lot of time. And with Nick leaving, there was a void and we were like, all right, you know, like we're gonna have to figure out that third spot. Um, and Pravilsky was a guy that came in with a lot of experience and Owen's done a great job for us. Um, but it just seemed like, like um, you know, we kind of looked at Ajax and he was just kind of steady, consistent, and then allowed us to move Owen up to the, the pole position, which has been great. He's been terrific this year. But knowing that you go into a game and you have a couple really good attackmen, which Michigan has, you know, obviously a really good attack. Um, and then even Princeton, you it's a great luxury to have. Um, luckily, with Ray Hill, we have three guys that can play on the perimeter, and, and we don't take that for granted. Um, the interesting thing with Ajax is, Three of his matchups this year against really good players from Oregon. Slusher, right? And then the other two guys you mentioned, like all those kids are really good and they're all from Oregon. And each week when he would play against them, like, uh, you play him in high school? He goes, yeah. And then he'd kind of give you the rundown, like, oh, we lost to him in the playoffs or, you know, we got him one year. And then I think with a lot of these guys, you know, whether it's Tucker, um, you know, whoever it may be, they train a lot together. They know each other. There's a lot of pride involved. To me, it just speaks to like how great the growth of sports been because those kids, Ajax and those kids he's playing against are all really good players. Logan, you mentioned you catch enough with some of the graduated guys you played with, but Jared specifically, he broke the, the record. Just how cool is it to have him in attendance a guy who's pushed you your first three years so much to have him cheering you on and stuff. Yeah, no, it, it's awesome. You know, he's, he's one of my best friends and stuff. You know, we got to catch up a little bit, you know, talk about football and stuff. Uh, hopefully he gets drafted here soon, which would be pretty cool for him. So really a brute for him, you know, really looking forward to that. So it was good. It was nice for sure. Logan and then Nikki. Coach, you talked at the beginning of the season at points this year about it feels like a mini approach on offense. Well, the two ten games now. It's been very effective. Can you talk more about that? Uh, yeah, just, you know, I think last year having a guy like Jared, you know, there's there's a guy that is a, a pretty special player in so many different ways. And, um, you know, he allowed us to, you know, when push got the shove and, and even watching the second Rutgers game uh, last year up there, um, you know, I felt like at times we were down four to one in that game and uh, we were kind of struggling and, and Jared kind of, 
hit hit a couple plays, just one on one matchups, and scored. And you know, as I'm watching that game, I'm like, you know, we, we're just that's not going to happen this year. Um, so we're going to have to make sure that you know it's going to be spread out um, as I'm watching the game. But it's kind of what we've wanted. And I think these guys are so self selfless that it doesn't really matter. Like you know, game to game, you know, quarter to quarter, somebody might get hot, and they're happy for each other. Um, again, the trust to know that you'll get the ball back is huge because if you don't have that trust, guys aren't going to give it up you know so that's built by just how they interact with each other in the locker room how they are in practice because if there's ever a sense of like well that guy's going to try to get his points and he's just going to shoot a lot all of a sudden you start holding the ball a little longer you start wondering should I share it and it's credit to those guys because we don't have to say anything they just um, they get it um, and so you, you you pull you know this guy then someone else is going to get a short um, this guy gets a short then somebody else has a pull no problem um, but again, with that many assists, I think the guys see the value of moving off ball. And the more we move off ball and the more we move it, the harder it is for teams just to kind of line up and defend us because we're constantly moving people in and out. Um, but it does take that trust and that self-discipline. Nick. Yeah, Coach, you spoke to Rutgers' strengths. Um, keep an eye out for the quick start. You had five straight goals, uh, four face-offs. What was it like to kind of see the team, you know, after you move on the team up all week, get that instant? Yeah, you never know how things are going to go. Um, and to get out to that fast start, which um, was great. Um, and again, I, we kind of talked in the locker room. We're like, hey, we're going to get a lot of energy from that crowd. Because um, I think the last time we're in here was Princeton. And, and I was saying to somebody, it seemed, that seems like last season almost. Um, it's so long ago. So um, to, to have a little nicer weather, a Sunday night, um, a lot of people there. Uh, obviously, those 2017 guys there, um, pretty special. Um, but. Uh, our fans are awesome. Um, they're so supportive. You know, even if like the other team scores one or two, you still feel that energy. Um, and again, you just don't get that on the road. Um, and and I know watching Rutgers, they played their best at home too. You know, you see it when the other teams feed off it too. They have good crowds, but our crowds are awesome. Got one more. Let's do Wayne. You had your last three number one jersey wearers here tonight. There's similarities, there's differences. Can you give us a minute on what it means to have three guys wearing that flagship jersey for you um, and all no being doubt. here tonight? Um, I think the number one, there's so much more than just the points. It, it's the person that wears one. Um, and I mean, those three guys are terrific players, but they're unselfish guys. They're incredibly hard workers. They're team first guys. They're guys I don't worry about off the field. Um, and they represent number one in every aspect, which there's a lot that goes into it. And, you know, I mean, we haven't thought about next year, nor will we, um, you know, but there's a lot that goes into it. Um, it's, it's the person inside the jersey, not just the skill. Um, and again, to, to see all three of those guys uh, was awesome uh, today. Seeing all those guys, um, the guys that came back was pretty special. But again, to me, the way they carry themselves, it, and I think Bruce might have mentioned earlier, like it does rub off to everybody else. Like this is how you do your business. This is like a professional approach. And that's one thing I've always mentioned about Logan. He's like, it's very professional. Like he lets his play do the talking. He doesn't sell promote. I don't even know. Do you have social media? No. <laughs> yeah. Like how many kids don't have social media? Like, you know, Jared was another guy like that. He just never really posted anything. And I think the Georgia football quarterback at some point during the season did the same thing. Like he shut down his social media and he talked about at the end of the season how much time he saved and he put that into watching film and doing things like that. Listen, that's a great lesson for a lot of young people. Like you take all the time and off your phone of just doing stuff that maybe, again, might be entertaining, but you invest that into the sport that you love. Man, you run the risk of like, or you, you maybe put yourself in a position to get a lot of benefit, right? That's another hour and a half of film you could watch or extra wall work, things like that. Again, spending time or investing time, if you invest, a lot of times you get it back. Just in, in closing, what has it meant to wear that jersey now that you've had it this season? Yeah, I, I mean, it, you know, it, it's meant a lot, obviously, but, you know, you've got an incredible team. You know, you got a big test next week with, with Ohio State, and, uh, you know, it, it's been awesome so far. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.